Okay, so this video is gonna be about like how the priest gameplay has changed, like uh, the changes that happened to priest and general terror PVP, as well as like myself, and this is all gonna wrap into like why I can't perform at my old like priest peak, and has generally led to like a uh, decline. So starting off with like the priest itself. I got buffed a long time, two years ago. Doubled in shield strength, which basically like triples its effectiveness. Because you know, before, you still get like half a skill to one skill off during it before the like a DPS could solo break it. Versus now you can get like three skills off, two to three skills off before DPS can solo break it. Or maybe like some classes can't even solo break it. Like if you're getting doubled, maybe you get like two, one to two skills off now, and like its CD has gone down by seven. Like it's the strength of Kai has just gone super high up. GS says CD has gone down to match it, so you can pop both at the same time. Before they would be desync, so like if you wanted to pop GS, like you you either need to like delay it if you want to pop the Kai's at the same time. Or they'd continually be desynced. But now that's no longer an issue. And then a uh, pretty notable change. GS has gone from 5 seconds to second in seconds to 10 seconds. Like, 4, 5 out of the 22 seconds you'd have GS. That's like uh, 20 to 25% uptime versus now. 10 out of 19 seconds over 50% uptime. Like, it's literally so much of a difference that you can't stun someone or sleep someone during that much more time. Literally half the time, someone's unseeable, basically. Plague's gone down a bit because of energetics. Cleanse got nerfed, so if you're, like, free casting a priest, like, you have less influence on, like, uh, your DPS's, like, stun or unstun stain. Fire Escape CD has gone down by 2 seconds as well as Backstep. And then the Backstep's uh, length, like how long the iframe is, is doubled. It used to be half a second, and now it's a full second. And that's like a huge change. Because before, like if, even if you're free casting as a priest, like if the other priest tries to sleep you or like plague you, it wouldn't be uncommon to dodge it as long as you're like... Or like fail to dodge it as long as you, even if you were like half awake now you can dodge it even if you're getting pressured you can like still dodge it because there's such a more like leeway for dodging it with the back step as well as like the cd one big thing about like the cd decreasing on both your movement skills is like super fueled like the pillar meta along with like the kai's gs super low duration or super low cd like you just pop both buffs, run around this pillar, no one can hit you, then by the time they both get to the pillar, and like catch up to you, you can like uh, speed away to the next pillar. And it basically makes you immune to lock-ons and like makes you use like half the DPS that try and focus you, like useless. Uh, specifically hurts some classes a lot worse than more others. And it's kind of irrelevant at some classes. Like uh, Zerkers, KD chaining is a lot harder. Because uh, Kai is super high uptime, as well as retail lower uh, downtime. So mana management used to actually be a thing. Like, there used to be 5 priest buffs, now there's 2. The buff range is increased, and the mana cost is down. So before, like, your DPS got plagued. They'd like come over to peel for a buff because like you can't pop your own Kai's to buff them most of the time because it, like it'd be pretty risky. And like you can lose the game off of like using Kai's to buff your TDPS. So they'd have to come over, peel for you, and like stand within like seven meters of you to get a power buff. Now you just pop double buffs and eventually walk over to them and double buff them. As well as like buffs used to cost a lot of mana. And like irrelevant to how much you were generating. Like, uh, I was literally the only priest who would pop all five buffs. 
like if they got plagued, which is part of the reason why my survivability was a lot higher, as well as like my resistance was higher. Like I resist a lot more leeches and shell bashes because I had the extra five resistance from the buff, as well as like uh, I forced lancers to have to use leash more, so it would really get resisted more. Or if you wanted to cast, like if you actually wanted to cast like more than one buff, like uh, you'd have to like mana charge or like be very like wise about your mana. Like for example, like uh, the focus seal. Which is like the basic left click heal, costs like half the mana of the healing immersion. Now priests just run like healing immersion, just reset and just like spam it. Before like you literally had to like no choice but to keep using your left click heal, because otherwise you'd run out of mana. But now like mana management is pretty irrelevant outside of solo queue without dyads. If you have dyads, like solo. Queue, uh, mana management is irrelevant everywhere. So, like, why is it irrelevant, basically? Uh, first thing that happened was the innerware. Like, innerwares kept getting, in got introduced. Like, mana innerware. And then they kept getting buffed. They came out with, like, it was, like, green tier, blue tier, and then there's, like, two or three yellow tiers now of mana innerware. And then, like, that wasn't that bad. Of like uh reducing mana management like it still existed but like the all killer of mana management was uh the circlet i think it's like 30 percent of your mana or something when you proc it like it's literally irrelevant to the zork's mana drain skills like if you manage tap so us uh, a priest after they use their mana charge like they wouldn't be able to cast anything for like 26 seconds because they couldn't cleanse themselves so and the, so the only thing they can do is like uh cast like the three second skill that gave you skill over uh, mana over like twenty seconds until they can cleanse themselves or just wait until their mana charge was up. Which basically like could literally win you the game instantly. But now like if you mana tap someone with both things like after they've used mana charge, they'll regen enough from the point where they can just like literally cleanse it off and then just uh, <laughs> ignore all the mana that you stole because it'll just instantly go back up to 100% in no time. And then Tornado. Tornado used to be like a super big thing that like priests could use for playmaking. Like you can cancel res from 18 meters. Now if you try and cancel res with <laughs> Tornado, you give them immunity to stun. You give them immunity to staggers and KDs. So you literally just made them immune while they're casting res and it didn't cancel their res. So you gave them a free res if you cast it on someone who's casting res. Where before you could cancel it from 18 meters and just like make game breaking plays. You could also do uh, tornado into sleep if you time it properly. And that was like. They couldn't stop it. it. As well as as long as you had like a decent aim. The, oh, it was very hard to aim tornado though, because of how slow it is. So like that was a big play that priests can make tornado to sleep, and then so the healer is useless for eight seconds, and you can easily pressure the, the DPS and set up on the healer with like a stun combo. But uh, now if you try and do it on someone, like they be game, they, they becomes like. Super armor and GS, you literally just like hurt your team and lose the skill. And then priest KD. I used to do what I call battle priest. Like I'd walk up and like KD a DPS or KD the healer out of like their heals. But now I really can't actually do that because DPS have gotten like CDR buffs. And uh, energetics have gone from energetic 2 to energetic 4. Which is a lot less AD. And for the class buffs, for example, like Raper, like basically every skill they have has gone down in cooldown by like half. Before you would have like downtime be in between your skills, like if you did your combo, like the whip stun to the stun, like you wouldn't have it up for like 13 seconds. 
now it's like eight seconds or something like that as well like grim strike used to be like 12 and now it's like four like that's huge as well as like double sheer double sheer used to be like your filler for in between you can cast combos you'd have to use that to like cancel heals but now like you can cast it during your combo and still have it up afterwards to like continually like, cancel skills like it's so much more easier for like every class to continually put out pressure because of uh, the CGR from the energetics. Arise, I used to be the only person to actually use this skill and it's like super like important or at least game changing. And then restorative burst, uh, literally Bl Blondie pioneered like everyone learning how to actually click the button. Like it casts, it has a higher base than your self heal or your right click, but like uh, it's a bit harder to use. But now pretty much everyone knows how to use it. I was also one of the first people to do like start using it after. Then uh, now it's pretty common. When I'm at school, I have school internet, and uh, there's a lot of different people using the internet, so uh, ping fluctuates super different, as well as relatively higher ping there too. And then packet loss is common when I'm at home, like my stream will die if I'm uh, streaming for like five seconds, or five minutes rather, and then I have to like restart everything that uses the internet, so that like wastes like two minutes. If it happens mid-round, I, I lose the round, which is kind of aggravating. I play when I'm sleepy. Like, even if I know I'm going to play poorly, like, I still queue when I'm sleepy. Like, uh, sometimes I'll see it play, and then I, I won't react to it till after it's hit me or, like, notice it because I'm just so tired, but I'll still be playing. Uh... I used to have like gym in high school, now I don't do that, so like my physical reaction speed's a bit slower. Not super relevant, but uh, still relevant. Then the, one of the big things, lock-ons with the servers is just like garbage. Like if I look at a clip from before, this is December 16th, 2014. Like first look at my sleep. How much time I spent hovering over him. I literally spent less than half a second to lock onto him. Like that's super quick. And then here I go for the plague. I spent one and a half seconds to lock onto three people. I spent less than half a second per person basically. And that's like quick pressure from a priest. But now if I look at like me trying to do something similar. Like my sleep took like a full second to lock on. And then like I go for a plague. I miss both people with my plague. Where normally or like at least in the past would have locked onto both of them and I would have had a one second plague on two people. Now I have a, a five second single plague that gets dodged because it took me so long to lock on. Like that's a huge difference. Like a one second double plague cast versus a five second single plague cast. That's like literally game changing on like how much pressure I can do. And that's quite aggravating to be like, keep trying to lock onto someone, but never locks on. And then I get like stunned after while I'm trying to play because uh, it takes so long and then I don't end up playing anyway. Like the difference between like plaguing double buffs on a priest and like uh, not plaguing or like getting my plague canceled and put on C is super relevant. It like loses me a lot of pressure. Community is more toxic and there's no more good fight. <laughs> so I super enjoyed playing with the good fight and like everyone there. But now like uh, there's few people, fewer people I enjoy playing with because most of them play less or quit. And then like the, the basic standard of what you can expect is like the toxic 1k Valk. Like, they do absolutely nothing, and then they rage at their teammates for sucking when they do absolutely nothing themselves. And that goes across, like, all classes, but it's just most common with Valks at the 1k elo. Again, there's fewer people playing threes. A lot of people quit, and a lot of people are more casual. 
and then threes basically only pops on Monday versus it could have popped or like would pop it like every single day. And then I play uh, DPS a lot more than I ever have. Like I've always played a DPS along with my priest. Like uh, I played Challenger, which was my Reaper. I played a couple Brawlers. I still play Ninja a bit. And then I spend a lot of time on Archer now, like more than ever before. And I spend all the time on Archer when uh, there's basically only one day on threes. So no extra time to like end up like casually playing Priest. So I spend a lot less time playing Priest because I spend so much time on Archer and because I enjoy it. Like I le spent less than 100 games of solo queue on it, but I'm very much quite adequate at it. If you've seen my solo queue streams of it, like I'm basically top tier, like and I very much find it fun. Uh, like I did team threes yesterday on it, like six teams, and I was doing like very well. So I can expect to like keep playing Archer a lot more, and not like dedicating more time to playing priests. So that's like a bit detrimental to my priest gameplay. I don't think it's like super huge that I'm not playing priests because uh there's not much difference between like how much I practice priest or not because uh feels so useless playing priest just getting tilted to like <laughs> failing to lock onto someone or like having no use outside of like kicking or clicking Kai's and GS then the occasional coins like uh priest game came like priest skill level has changed or, like the impact of the skill level of a priest is like degraded a lot like uh especially the backstep buff along with the kai cd and gs cd the strength of both those skills along with like the movement skill cd like priest has gotten like basically easy mode now like anyone can play versus before it used to be like actually a difficult class and that kind of makes it a, a lot less fun uh, for me at least and it's part of the reason why I'm playing Archer more. So to review, Priest is easy to play. Uh, skill matters less on it. Skill matters less on like DP everyone in general because of energetics. Mana management was no longer a thing, which was something I actually enjoyed on the class. Battle Priest doesn't work anymore. Can't make plays on Priest. Uh, Circumstances outside of my control make my game play worse, and some within my control that I don't really fix. Less enjoyable to play Priest because uh, Priest was a way to play the game with people I enjoyed playing it with, but there's fewer of those now. And then my opportunities to play the game are a lot less, or at least to competitively play it. So I it's basically impossible to reach like the same level of priest gameplay that I used to have like two years ago for example like in the video I just linked or showed and there's gonna be I'll link a couple of these like ones that from a long time ago that I think are quite good and showcase like what used to be really good like good priest gameplay that like could be game-changing versus like uh, now priest has like very little impact I don't think I'm playing poorly at all, but uh, I'm definitely not going to be able to play at the same level I used to, but uh, no one can. So I think I'm basically like the average of the top tier priest right now. There's basically like no difference between the top priests now, like you actually can't tell the difference to how, like how that priest is doing on that day. Like, are they tired? Are they hungry? Are they paying attention to the game? And who are their DPS? Hopefully this under helps everyone understand why Priest gameplay itself has become a bit less interesting, more easy mode, and why I choose to play it less often. I still continue to play the class, and will probably forever, because I enjoy playing Terror itself. And uh, like everyone who's ever played Priest has pretty much played the class just to play the game with other people because they enjoy playing the game itself. And someone has to play Priest. Might as well let the most adequate player do it.
just now Priest is a lot less impactful than it used to be. But uh, it's still just a way to play the priest or to play the game with the people you want to play it with. Even if that's just solo queue players and randoms you don't know.